G'day Ratbags and welcome to another episode of Dirt Riders TV. Bag it up! In this episode we're here at Jimna Base Camp and they're having a DR weekend full of Suzukis and lots of other bikes. After unloading the ute and pitching a tent big enough to fit 50 gypsies in, I unleashed the so-called Angry Bee and took a quick trip around the campsite. Then it was time to contemplate how one man could make a difference. Perhaps leap over small creek crossings with a single stall. Win the raffle with less than 10 tickets. Get as close to the fire as you can without becoming the main meal. All that and more coming up. So sit back and enjoy the ride. The first annual DR weekend at Jimna drew a big crowd. There was more variety in camp setups than there are in Aunt Ethel's underwear drawer. Over the entire weekend, the unofficial report was over a hundred people registered. On the main campground here, there was, by my count, over 76 bikes at one stage. The mates and the models weren't limited to DRs. It seemed like there was a steady stream of bikes flowing in and out of the campground all weekend. Even the pets were getting in on the action. A big shout out to Matt from Overlander's Motorcycle Event Support. They helped me out with a small problem. I realised once I'd arrived that I'd lost a couple of bolts out of the tailgate. Pretty necessary considering the bike goes on the back and that tailgate is pretty essential. Also Anthony from Suzuki DR Spares was there and between the two they were able to supply everyone with all their needs. It really was an essential service that many of the guys took advantage of. Thanks fellas. So here we are Ratbags, Jimna Base Camp. DR weekend. The first annual event and hopefully one of many more to come. Let me take you on a quick tour of the grounds. And first of all a big thanks to Pete and all of his crew for an excellent event. Have breakfast down here, coffee, everything you need to start the day. One thing for sure there was plenty of room for the tents on the old cricket grounds. Nice little setup. Plenty of guys here. Though they're mostly out having their experiences in the dirt, as you should be. Looks as if. That's dinner tonight. And for after dinner, inside, you got the Gymnast Sports Club. Beer, whatever you want, all the essentials. Gymna is a very historic town. It's been around for a long time. It began as a timber industry and a little bit of mining. But now it's a little quiet country town with a lot to offer, especially for the dirt bike rider. One thing's for sure, don't blink as you're going through or you might miss it. There was plenty of guys out and about and it was time for me to bag it up too. Now this is the stuff we're looking for. After experiencing Jimna for a weekend, I found that it was full of hidden treasures just like this. It's a nice unused track into who the hell knows where. Oh. But it does look a little bit like Yowie country to me. You better believe it. From twisting, turning, leaf littered grounds that smelt like mouldy leaves. Oh, look at that. To wide open spaces that have been ravaged by man's relentless need for resources. Broken right out into the clearing area. But that greed did provide a spectacular view. 
Road closed. But not all gymnast secrets were open to the public. Yes. But they were there for any rat bag who was stupid enough to take on the challenge of the hill climb. Well, the last time I seen one of them signs was out the back of your Andrew on the Chuana run. And disobeying that sign had not been a wise decision. But there was plenty of other hill climbs to choose from. Like this one I found out the back of the peach tree camping grounds. And I swear it was a lot of fun. But if hill climbs aren't your thing, perhaps a few water crossings at side go Or you could just bag it up and down the hills like a mountain goat. Much as I wanted to keep on riding, I heard the rumours that there was a thunderstorm coming and I figured it was time to get inside and play. I don't know if it's just me, but shoes and socks never want to cooperate when you're in a goddamn hurry. I reckon the crew from the gym to base camp only pulled the piggy out just in time. But the rain didn't dampen the spirits. Everyone was having a good old time and food was delicious. Oh, that's fun. But really, the fun had only just begun. And as Mother Nature put on a show for everyone, I reckon Plecky the organiser was happier than a butcher's dog. They deserve to be happy. It was an awesome event. Good on you guys. It was about this stage that some of us were wondering if it was ever going to let up. Would we be picking our tents up halfway down the creek? Who knew? But as the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. Having an event like this being organised and put on is like finding a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Even when the power went out, the organisers soldiered on with a can-do attitude. And it was evident that the first ever annual DR show at Gymna Base Camp was a success. continued all through the night. Time and time again Mother Nature put on a beautiful display of backdrops, light shows and overall an excellent range of weather conditions no matter what pastime you wanted to partake in. As the final morning dawned and everyone began to pack up there was only one thing left to do say goodbye to some of the bikes and friends that I'd met over the weekend. And as I leave you with a compilation of bikes and campsites, I hope you got great value out of this video. And if you did, click on the like button and share it with your friends. Leave us a comment, let us know if you went or if you'd like to go next year. And don't forget to click that subscribe button, it's absolutely free and then you won't miss out on our next exciting video. And I look forward to seeing you at the next Gymna annual DR event. And until then, get outside and play. <laughs>
I don't blame you. What's he call this thing, Ned Kelly? What's he call this bike, Ned Kelly? Look at the front end on that. Have a good ride. Right for a quick one. <laughs> hey? Just a quick one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she's going to need a, a wash after this weekend. No, I don't wash it. Oh, no, well, that's fair enough. No. This one looks like she's had a good play in the mud, too. Oh, yeah. How's the old KLR go? Yeah? You know, we need a trailer behind this thing. Yeah. For a few hours, oh. four, four of us. And, yeah. And, uh, forestry. Well, there's nothing wrong with getting lost as, no, as long as you find your way out again. It's the adventure. Yes. How the old 400s, how'd she bear up for the weekend? Did you alright? Uh, I'll tell you what though, it must have been the rain that's cleaned it off. It looks a bit too clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning.